Well, let's see what Steve Arts 89. Well, this was literally my Superman when I was growing up, but this was really my Superman, Christopher Reeve. Now, I've been aware that there's been a documentary made about him and his life, and there's been trailers running um, in front of videos, and I've been skipping them because it was making me emotional. I didn't want to watch them. Um, why is that? Well, because he was my Superman when I was growing up. Um, he was a Superman that was in the movies that I saw on TV. Um, he came to represent Superman and superheroes and everything that was good and everything that he was supposed to sort of want to be and aspire to be. And um, my mum bought me the um, comic adaption for part three. It had photos and everything in it and I, you know, really sort of, you know, cherished that. Um, and I just, I just really loved everything that he sort of represented and um, I didn't really see him as a person until he um, had that accident in, I think, 1994, and he came off a horse and he broke his neck and became a quadriplegic. Um, now, being someone who grew up around horses, my sister's an um, uh, international jockey, my um, mother and my other sisters rode horses and we had horses, so my sister had come off once in a race really badly and been injured, and we sort of understood that side of things, but it still didn't quite seem real. I still... I still wanted him to be Superman, and I believed he would walk again. I, I, I really believed that he would, and like he, when he came out on in ceremonies and stuff like that, I expected just one day he'd come out and he'd just walk, and um, he will have cured it. And he'd make a lot of advancement. He, there was a lot of fundraising and, and things that um, he managed to get um, pushed through, and um, he did a lot there, and I, just, I respected that, but... Um, he didn't live long enough to take um, to sort of benefit from those, and he did actually die in uh, I think 2004, um, about 10 years after um, um, the accident. And it's been nearly 20 years um, since then. And um, they did this documentary about his life, and it was interesting to see him as a person because I've only really seen him as Superman, and it was hard to see him as a person to realize that he was as heroic in life as he was in, you know, his, his character. Um, I mean, the challenges that he faced um, and how he managed to find the positive in it, the, the slowing down um, that his family sort of had to do uh, because of his, his disability it meant they actually spent more time together and they appreciated their time with him more than, say, if he was um, healthy and they were just running around with activities and being busy and not really having time to sort of sit down for each other. So there were some positives to it and the example that he's... Um, wife um, Dana gave where um, he wasn't sure if he wanted to go on right after the accident and she said you're still you and I love you and everything that superficial that she might have valued about him was taken away and it was really just his heart and his soul his mind that was left and that was him and, and she loved him and that was a message also that I think we sort of needed to see and hear and um, they exemplified that sort of um, well, just love and I just I just couldn't believe that, you know, he was, um, you know, paralyzed and I couldn't believe that he died. I cried for like three days after he, after he died. Every time I saw something on the news about him or, or thought about it, I would just cry. And, and it's just funny to think how much someone I'd never even met meant to me because of the character they played and what they represented. Um, I mean, I met Margot Kidder and I talked to her about him, but obviously I never met him. And... I wish I had, but it's just um, it's interesting. The trailer was, was good. Um, it was very moving. Um, you know, obviously it's focusing about his life and everything he did um, after being disabled. And um, like I said, it's been 20 years since he passed and um, they're doing a new Superman movie and um, his son is making a cameo. They talked about that. and um, It was just a nice... Interview with the View and the trailer um, looked good. The the film is called Superman: um, The Life of Christopher Reeve, and it's opening on September 31st in cinemas. And I'd love to see it. I, it looks like it's going to be really good. I just um, I just I just you know still love him and still think of him as Superman. And you know he still represents all those you know ideals that we sort of should live up to. And I really hate that a lot of people think that Superman was too perfect and they you know would call him the big blue boy scout and stuff like that and um this idea with the last couple of movies that superman has to 
be dark or deal with dark issues, that um, we can't have someone as pure and um, good as Superman was. And I'm just so glad that I grew up with that Superman and everything that that meant. And um, I, I, it's funny, I also feel really bad for um, children in the 50s who grew up with George Reeves who died and they had to deal with that um, because, you know, he was their Superman. Um, and, yeah, just what these characters mean and so forth is just... It's interesting and it's expiring and his life was just as inspiring and I'm glad they made the documentary. I'm glad he's getting this attention and um, I hope people see it and I can't wait to see it. And um, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the film if you saw it um, and the trailers and, um, you know, Christopher Reeve in general. I think he was inspiring and um, he's always going to be my Superman.